Well, happy Friday. Last day of our Code of Conduct review. We're working hard on it. Special guest appearance today on the last section of the Code of Conduct with Officer Krause. Thank you, sir, for being here. And remember, teachers, I told you this is going to take a longer period of time because there's so much to go over because we're in the serious breaches of conduct. And the whole reason Officer Krause is here is there's going to be times when he'll jump in to maybe add something because of the fact that most of the things in the serious breaches of conduct also involve law enforcement. So let's jump in. Let's get started. The first was pretty easy. It's abusive language or conduct to staff. You say something profane, abusive. You curse at a staff member. That's an automatic out-of-school suspension because you're being so disrespectful to a staff member. We're not going to do that at Rochelle. You shouldn't be cursing anyway, certainly not at any of your teachers. So we're going to use nice words, be kind, do what you need to do. The second one is arson. Arson is where you are trying to burn down the school. You brought a lighter, you brought matches to school, you're trying to light something on fire with the idea, I'm burning school down. If you do that, it is an immediate, at minimum, report to the alternative ed school for a year, probably more than likely expulsion, and you got to see Officer Krause because that's going to be involving law enforcement because that's a criminal offense. And Officer Krause, that's felony offense? It is. Okay. Which is, for those of you that know your criminal stuff, that's more serious than a minor offense, which Officer Krause would call a misdemeanor. We're moving on to assault. This is, and catch the meaning of assault so you really understand what we're talking about here. Student who intentionally threatens by words or act to strike or hurt someone and has the ability to do that. In other words, I've got a backpack in my hand. I'm going to knock you upside the head with this so you're knocked out. And I'm already kind of swinging it around. I've said what I'm going to do. I certainly have the ability to do that. That's assault. That starts at out-of-school suspension at least five days, can go up to 10 like we talked about yesterday, or could be recommended to alternative ed and Officer Krause? Misdemeanor. There you go. The next is battery. Battery is where you just don't say you're going to do it. You actually just walk up on someone. I don't like you. Bam! And you hit them. You kick them. Uh, you put your hands on them. Battery is an unwelcome touch. That's a battery. You can't do that. You can't do that to a staff member. You can't do that to a student. You need to keep your hands to yourself. Remember, we're trying to be kind, trying to be nice to people. That's out of school suspension at least five days, up to 10, or going to the bad school, the alternative ed school. And you got to go see Officer Kraus. Which also, just keep in mind, a simple push that's unwanted is considered a battery. Yep, don't, so don't do it because you're going to have to go see him. The next is bomb or explosive. This is where you're bringing something on campus to explode it, to ignite it, to detonate it. Uh, and if you bring something on campus and you say it's a bomb, and I'm going to blow the school up, and I brought this to school to blow the school up with, it's the same thing. It's a bomb threat. It's bringing this explosive device on campus. Oh, that's really serious. I only have one level to pick from when you do that. It's expulsion. You are kicked out of school for a year. We talked about expulsions the other day. It's super serious, and you're going to see Officer Krause. For sure. So we're talking about bombs and explosive devices on the campus. I'm just going to call in a bomb threat. I'm going to get on my cell phone in the bathroom and say, I'm going to blow the school up. There's a bomb in the gym. If you do that, even if it's not there, that also is a very serious offense. We have to evacuate the school at that point because we don't know. There's a lot of manpower as law enforcement are on the campus to try to determine if there is a bomb or is it safe to go back in the classroom. And again, I have one choice. It's just expulsion. 
you're kicked out of school at least a year. Also, you're seeing Officer Krause because that's, that's, that's a that's, false alarm, false information. That's felony, and we'll be able to track the phone or whatever you use to make said threat. Bullying, we'll spend a whole day once we get to an early dismissal day where we can do the bullying prevention lessons and we'll go through those. But you guys know what bullying is. We talked yesterday about all the types of bullying. There's physical, there's verbal, there's emotional or relational bullying as it's called, sexual bullying, cyber bullying, and even harassment. Well, I'm not really bullying them. I just don't like them. I'm telling all their friends not to be friends with them. It, that's harassment. It all falls under the same thing. It's very serious. First offense, first time, out of school suspension. If it happens a second time, you're kicked out of Rochelle and you go to the bad school, the alternative school. And again, we talked about that yesterday. That's Bill Duncan for middle schoolers. It's the best center for elementary. If you're having a problem, if someone's bothering you, if someone is harassing you, threatening you, making you not feel good, this person's really mean to me all the time. They're putting their hands on me. They're pulling my hair. Uh, they're just not nice. Get to the office, fill out an instant report, and we'll have someone that will investigate that and take the proper action against the person bothering you. But Mr. Batman, if I tell, it's gonna make it worse. It might. But I'm going to tell you from experience, if you don't tell, it will get worse. If you tell, it may get worse maybe one more time, but then it will stop because that student's not just going to be here anymore. So be aware of that. If you see someone getting bullied, I love it when I have someone that will tell, hey, my friend is being bothered by someone else. I just want to make you, there's a little nervous to come up, but I'm coming up because it's not right. And that's great. So thank you for that. Burglary. Burglary is when you enter a building where you shouldn't be and you attempt to try to steal something after you've gotten in there. I broke into a car. I broke into a classroom that was locked, and I tried to steal stuff. That's burglary. First offense, out of school suspension, or you're going to the bad school and you can also see Officer Kraus. What's that going to be, Officer Kraus? That's a felony. That's a felony offense. And remember, guys, a lot of this felony stuff, that stays with you. So you don't want to have all that issue later on down the road. Well, I'm in eighth grade, and now I'm going to high school with a felony charge. So don't do that. Computer misuse, that's normally when you're not doing what your teacher's telling you to do, especially if you're on an inappropriate website, a nasty website, a sexual website, a pornographic website, and you've somehow found a way around our firewalls to do that. It's popping keys off the keyboard. It's not doing what you should be doing with the computer when the teacher tells you something different. And we're about to roll out. Everyone's going to, middle schoolers, you're getting computers. Elementary, fourth and fifth graders watching this, you're getting tablets. So it all falls under this computer misuse. The problem is you can lose the computer. You can lose use of it here at school. And how are you going to do your work if your teacher's going to start teaching using the computer and you can't use it? It's going to be a bunch of paper you're going to get. So if you don't like the sound of that, no, oh, Mr. Bowman, I don't want to do a bunch of paper packets. I'd rather do stuff on the computer. Then just do what you need to do with the computer. So next up in our code of conduct review on the last day is drugs. I told you guys yesterday, don't bring that trash on this campus. That's serious. Any kind of drug is bad. It hurts you. It's harmful to your body, but it's illegal. You can't have it here. You can't bring it here. You can't use it here. You can't sell it here. And any of that with drugs, you're obviously, because it's illegal, you're going to see Officer Krause. Um, so you shouldn't do that. Officer Krause, anything else you need to add about drugs? Just that uh, zero tolerance, same with alcohol. Yeah. And, and Officer Krause is right, right here. I have one choice. It just says expulsion. You're gone. But Mr. Batman, marijuana is legal some places, not at school. Not for you. Do not bring that here. And let me be real clear on this with drugs. I bring some drugs to school. I think someone knows I might have it. So my friend, Officer Krause, I'm gonna give him my drugs 
just hold them, Officer Krause. If you just hold them for me, I'll get them back from you after lunch. And he's holding them, and someone finds out that he may have drugs, and he gets searched, and he has them. Guess who's guilty of being in possession of drugs? Then if he's smart, he's going to say, well, they're not mine. They're Mr. Brackman's. And then guess who else is going to get in trouble? So don't hold stuff for someone else. Don't hold tobacco products. Don't hold weapons. Don't hold drugs. Just say, I, I can't do that. I want to stay at Rochelle. I don't want to get kicked out. Extortion. Extortion is where I'm going to beat you up if you don't bring me money every day to school or you don't let me have some of your food every day. I, I'm, a, I'm going to beat you up. Or I know you did something wrong. I'm going to go tell the teacher if you don't just start paying me. That's extortion. Sometimes we call that blackmail. You can't do that. First offense, out of school suspension or going to the alternative ed school. I hope by now you're seeing the pattern. Man, it's pretty much suspension where you get kicked out of school. Mm -hmm. For all this stuff, yeah. And for most of it also, you're going to see Officer Krause. False alarm. False alarm is where you think it'd be cute to pull the fire alarm to see what happens. That's super serious because you've stopped education at our school for no reason. Out of school suspension, possible recommendation to the alternative ed school, and Officer Krause, what happens uh, from a law enforcement end? Y'all get charged. Yeah, it's just not good. False information, let me break that one down. That's an easy one. It's lying. We're in an investigation. I'm asking you a question. Officer Kraus is asking you something, and you just outright lie. And we're able to prove that you lied. That's false information. That starts at out-of-school suspension. So the best thing to do is, I did something really bad. I did something really wrong. I did something I really shouldn't have done as a fourth grader. I just made a huge mistake. Just tell the truth. Just fess up. Normally, when we're asking you questions in an investigation, we already know the answers. We're just going to see, are you going to tell the truth? If you do, yeah, it, it's not good, but I'd much rather you tell the truth than to lie about false information and get in trouble for that, plus the reason we're talking to you. Felony charges off campus. We already talked about this once earlier in the week. You do something off campus on the weekend and you get charged as a felon. That's where we go through that. We talked about an adverse impact. Where are you really, is it best for you to be back at our school or not? And you have to go through the adverse impact hearing. You could get blocked from ever coming back. But I didn't do anything at school, Mr. Brackman. I was surprised it was off campus. It doesn't matter. You may not be allowed back here if you get charged with a felony off campus on the weekend at night. Fighting with injury or physical restraint. We don't have a lot of fights here because you guys have figured out there's better ways to handle the situation than to fight. But if you fight where we have to pull you apart or you fight where someone gets injured or hurt, it's an automatic out-of-school suspension. You're looking probably 10 days. If it's real serious, then you're probably going to be sent to the alternative ed school, the bad school. And a lot of you forget this. It's a state law. You can't fight on school board property, so you can get charged for just fighting. Officer Krause? That's right. All right. The next piece is fighting without injury or restraint. Well, we were fighting, but by the time Mr. Batman ran up on us, we stopped. Officer Krause ran up and said, stop, stop, and we listened and we stopped. It's still serious. You're still fighting. You're going to get suspended. And nowhere in here, in the Code of Conduct, does it say... Well, he said something about my mom. He came up and pushed me and challenged me, and I'm not going to allow that, so I started fighting. It doesn't say, well, he gets in more trouble because he started it, and I get in less trouble because I just was punching back. It just says fighting. If he and I are punching, we're fighting. And let me be clear on this. Well, he hit me, so I was defending myself. You know, the Code of Conduct does state that defending yourself is not punching back. That's retaliating, which is fighting. Defending yourself in the code of conduct is you run away, you just cover up without punching back, and that's it. But the moment you start punching back, I'm not letting him punch on me, I'm punching back. Mr. Bradman, I know you got to suspend me, 
But I, I just couldn't let him just keep punching on me. Okay, as long as you know. But the better thing is before it gets to that point, let somebody know, let us help you. Mr. Hansen's here is the behavior interventionist. He also can help try to squash a lot of that before it gets to a fight. Fighting with multiple participants. Two people are fighting and you decide, oh no, that's my friend, that's not gonna happen. And you jump into the fight. And then one of their friends says, oh, you're not jumping in, that's not fair, and they jump in the fight. And you got like four or five people all fighting together. Everybody's getting suspended or everyone's going to the alt-ed school. And because that's now a whole bunch of people fighting. Officer Krause, what happens to all those people? Everybody gets charged. To everyone, yep. Gang activity. People always ask, how come we can't wear bandanas at school? Because too many bandanas are associated with gangs. That's why you can't have gang paraphernalia at school. That's why you're not allowed to wear one glove and, and not another glove. You have to wear two gloves because of gang activity. A lot of gangs have that. We do not have a lot of gang activity, very little if any at our school, because you guys aren't all about that. So we're not drawing gang symbols or gang signs on our notebooks, our hands, our arms, the desk. We're not using gang slang terms. Don't do it because that's immediate out of school suspension, immediate recommendation to the alternative ed school. And you have to see Officer Krause because there's a whole gang unit, Officer Krause? Yeah, there's a, you'll be investigated and you'll be put on a list if you are considered a gang member. You don't wanna be on that list. Next one is super serious. We talk a lot, Officer Krause, you heard him talking about in our assemblies, see it, hear it, say it. This is a good time to do that. Weapons, this would be guns, knives, anything that you would bring on campus to really seriously hurt someone. A rifle, a firearm, a shotgun, uh, pocket knives, box cutters, ice picks, razor blades, air guns, spring guns, taser guns, paper, pe pepper spray, mace, airsoft guns, fireworks also can fit here. All of that is very serious. It's a dangerous object. It's a weapon. It's a firearm. There are no options. I have nothing to do. But Mr. Batman, I went on a hunting trip over the weekend and I wore this jacket and I left my knife in it and I wasn't thinking about it and it plopped out of my pocket in class. Did you have a knife while you were on school campus? Yes, sir. I, there, there, there's nothing for me to do. It's on here. Expulsion, expulsion, expulsion. That's all I have to choose from. I don't like to suspend students. I sure don't like to send students to the bad school. I hate to expel students because I know what that does to you. I lose sleep over it. It's not a fun part of my job. So make good choices. That's why I'm spending time going through this with you this year so that you hear from me and you know, it's some good choices. On top of that, no surprise, you gotta go see Officer Krause because it's expulsion. And you're gonna be charged with felony charges because you brought a weapon on campus. You can't do it. It's a huge mess. So stay away from that. You guys are hanging in there with us. We got a little bit more to get through, so let's move through this. And decent exposure or conduct, that's where uh, in any kind of restroom, dressing room, other area, you engage in any behavior considered lewd, indecent, obscene. Uh, you just can't do that. Or if you pull down your pants or exhibit any of your private parts or expose your rear end, I'm going to moon somebody and I'm going to pull down my pants and show off my rear end. That's all right here. It's, it, it's simple. This is an easy one. It's 10 days or the bad school. And because you've exposed yourself, you got to see him too for charges. It's, it's starts to sound like a broken record, but every one of these is pretty much that. Insubordination, that's the number one reason students get suspended. If you've not paid attention to what I've said, listen to this. Stop, sit up, wake up, listen to this. If you do not do what an adult asks you to do on campus, I need you to sit down. I need you to be quiet. I need you to go to the office. I need you to give me your cell phone. I need you to give me your roar card. I need you to give me your paw card. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's insubordination. That starts at out of school suspension. My hands are really tied on that. I don't have any other options to work with. You're suspended. 
Yes, I have already suspended a student this school year for insubordination in the 12th day of school or the 13th day, sorry. So be aware of that. Make a good choice. I don't agree with this, but I'm going to do what the teacher says because I'm a respected teacher and I don't want to get a referral for insubordination. Interference with the educational process, anything that you do that causes the teacher not to be able to teach, that causes the normal routine of the school not to occur, that falls there. 10 days, Alt-Ed, got to see Officer Krause. If you leave campus without permission, we talked about skipping yesterday. Today, if you just, I'm walking off the campus, that starts at out-of-school suspension because we don't know where you're going or what you're doing. You can't do that. Plus, at that point, you're in a, a, a truancy issue because you're supposed to be on school campus during school hours and you've left and that's law enforcement end because you got to be there. Uh, other serious violations of the law. Ha ha, it's not mentioned in the code, so I can do it. No, this is the catch-all. Anything else that you do that is a violation of law enforcement, it, I can put it right there. It's out of school suspension or bill dunking or you can't get expelled if it's serious enough. Personal communication devices, that's cell phones. Fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, we've talked about it. I want to make sure that the fourth graders hear this because they're watching too. A student that uses a cell phone to record a fight, a battery, or any other inappropriate content. I'm going to record someone in the bathroom because I think it's funny and cute. Please don't do that. That's an automatic 10-day suspension from school. If you post it on any form of social media or any other web-based communication, after your 10 days, you are kicked out and go to the alternative ed school. If you have your phone out or on once school starts or your earbuds, first time it's taken to the office, I get it, and the teacher reminds you, hey, you can't have that stuff out. It's just a warning. You see me at the bus loop in the afternoon, I give it back to you. Second time, it comes to me in the office and you receive a mark on either your PAW card or your ROAR card and your parents are notified. Because the third time it happens, it gets locked up in the safe. You don't have to see me anymore. Someone's got to come up here to pick it up. And you get an office referral at that point. Fourth time on, it's an office referral for insubordination. As we've already said, that's just straight out suspension. There's not a lot of reasons that are bad reasons to get suspended. But that's just a, that's a bad reason to be suspended. That doesn't make any sense. I'm getting suspended because I can't keep my cell phone put away. So make good choices with the cell phone, make good choices with your earbud, and you won't have those problems and you won't run into those types of issues. Sexual harassment, we've already talked about it. Don't do it. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't say mean, ugly things, because it'll get you in big trouble, not only from the school standpoint, but with law enforcement as well. Okay, we're in the final stretch. Student confrontation with a school board employee. A student who strikes, pushes, pulls, shoves, fights, injures, or engages in violent confrontation involving a school board employee. It's one option, expulsion. So I walk up on a, a, a teacher, a staff member, and I punch them, hit them, I knock them on the ground. Uh, I intentionally do something on purpose to hurt them. It's not accidental, this is on purpose. That's very serious, that's expulsion, and you are gonna have to see him because that's a real serious issue if you have injured a staff member intentionally, on purpose, I wanted to hurt him. Don't do that. Even pushing is a felony when it comes to a teacher or a staff member. Yeah, if you're shoving them to get them out of the way, and it's intentional, it's not accidental. Well, I ran into them and it was an accidental situation. That's different. But we're talking on purpose, I hate you, I don't like you, and you put hands on them, yeah, it, it, you're expelled. Minimum of one year, plus criminal. Theft, theft is taking property from someone else that you know belongs to them, and I'm not giving it back. Okay. That's bad. You can't do that. So don't take what doesn't belong to you. Don't go through someone's backpack. Don't take stuff off their desk when they get up to go to the bathroom because you can get charged along with an out-of-school suspension. 
if it's grand theft, then I don't have any choice but to expel you. Officer Krause, what's grand theft? It's a felony. It's going to be anything over 700 bucks. Yeah. So I'm going to steal your $900 watch. Phone. Yeah, phones can be that expensive. Just don't touch stuff that doesn't belong to you. Trespassing, this is rare in our case, but it's if you're suspended from school, you're suspended because you made some bad choices. I'm coming to school anyway, and you appear at school. You're trespassing. You can get charged for trespassing, plus you get an additional referral. So don't do that either. Vandalism, try so hard to keep our school clean. We try so hard to pick trash up, try so hard to have nice bushes planted and have nice signs and banners put up. Vandalizing is where you're getting a Sharpie marker out and drawn all over on building, on the bricks, on the wall. Please don't do that. Don't break stuff and tear stuff up. I'm going to go over here and yank these bushes out. That's vandalism. You can't do that. So treat our school with respect. We got to be here every day. So let's make it nice. Incitement of violence. A student by words or actions threatens others with violence directly or indirectly or instigates or incites others to do violence or bodily harm or to fight, guilty of a serious breach of conduct. I'm not a violent person, but I'm going to say words to other people and get them all wound up to where they're going to want to fight. I've got them to fight. I've incited a fight. There you go. Now I'm stuck with as I'm as guilty as they are. They fought. They're suspended. I caused them to fight, I'm suspended. I'm encouraging the fight. Also remember that if you make any kind of comments about hurting people, killing people, stabbing people, blowing up the school, shooting up the school, shooting people, bringing a gun to school, whether you're serious or whether you're joking, that's an automatic five day out of school suspension minimum if you do it twice in a year, you're kicked out of Rochelle, you go to the alternative education site. And if you put it in writing, cartoon, drawing, words, that's an automatic 10-day suspension. In all cases, whatever you've said or done, you got to see him. And that's real serious. But I was just joking. I was mad when I said it. I, I, sorry. That's a new school board rule this year at every school. And you can't say those type of things and then come up to my office and say, well, I didn't mean to say it. It's too late. You said it. So be careful with your words. You've heard Ms. Griffin all week long talk about watch your words. Be careful with your words. It's better to walk away and say nothing than to say the wrong thing and cause a real problem. With that, we are done. I apologize that it's taken so long to get through today's session, but it was important to hear all this because a lot of this is super serious stuff and you need to have it. And we had more visual aids today and then Officer Krause got to join us. So that was a nice one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.